What's up YouTube? This is Rob here again. So today we got another review to do and this review is going to be an e-liquid review and this is from a company called Caterpillar e-juice right here. They sent me this little decal or this little sticker right here. It's Caterpillar's e-juice and uh, and they sent me their little business card right here. It says Caterpillar e-juice only a few will find the way and then it's got the sales team and uh this is American made. This is uh, American made e juice. You got their website. They're on Facebook, Instagram, stuff like that. So basically, if you go to their website, they don't really have ordering, but they do have where uh, they send you to the companies that do sell their e liquid. So these e liquids, they did say that they had uh, Alice in Wonderland in mind when they made these e liquids. So if you're an Alice in Wonderland uh, fan of their e liquid, you, you might enjoy this type of e-liquid here. So they did send me three bottles of e-liquid for purpose of review and this one is these are six milligrams of nicotine and they sent me ones called Wonder Grams which is cinnamon teddy grams. Uh, they sent me Off With Her Head which is a jolly green jolly rancher and then they sent me Mad H where it just says just try it. So basically it's a, a fruit mixture from what I've read on the website. And they do have childproof caps. Okay. They do have, so they basically got the name. It says Mad H, 6 milligrams. Just try it is the name. So they basically have the type of flavor that it is along with the name that they're calling the e-liquid, which is real nice. It says shake well. It says you got ingredients. It's organic VG natural and artificial flavorings sweetener and nicotine and these are 18 mil bottles and their prices are 11.99 for an 18 mil bottle and twenty dollars for a 36 mil bottle so it's not too bad 12 bucks for 18 mils not too bad on price so it does have this product contains nicotine and is not suitable for those under 18 uh, women who are pregnant or breastfeeding, taking medication for depression, asthma, or people that are to keep away from children and pets, store in cool place, and away from UV lighting. And they do have an expiration date, which this these here say at 9 of 2015. And then they got their little website, Facebook. So real nice little labels. They got the they got everything you need on there. Childproof caps, your nicotine levels, the warning labels, tells you the size of the bottle, it uh, tells you the expiration date. Don't, it doesn't have born on date, but it does have the expiration date. So that's a good one to know when it expires. So, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, try these up here. So let's go ahead and do the Wonder Grams. We're going to put that in the Stingray X with the Mephesto RDA yeah and I'm really getting like a uh, with the snip test I'm getting uh, like a graham cracker type of uh, smell yeah so let's go ahead and get this all wet Now, I did not see where the PGVG ratio is on this. Uh, I might have missed it. Sorry if I did miss it, but I could have missed it. Let's let's see if I can find it on here. Uh, as we're getting that down in there. Yeah, so I do not see the VG-PG ratios of the e-liquid here. As a quick glance, no, nope, don't see it. Let's go to facts. Uh, who found words? Caterpillar does your juice contain dinosaur? What size bottle to sell? Okay, here we go. Here, what's the ratio? It says the total VG PG mix is about 85 15. So it's 85 VG and 15 PG. 
So this is a good dripping e-liquid right here. So 85 VG 15 PG. Let's go ahead and give this some shot. And this is the Wonder Gram, so it's Teddy Grams. Excellent vapor production. So I am getting the light taste of Teddy Graham, the little teddy bear crackers. I'm getting just a light taste. It's not a real powerful, strong Teddy Graham flavor, but I am getting the Teddy Graham flavor out of this, the Teddy Graham crackers. So it is a real nice tasting juice. I just wish it was a little bit stronger for my taste buds. I do like stronger tasting e-liquid. So let's go ahead and go to the next one here. And let's see what we got here. So well, let's do the off with her head. And this is a Green Jolly Rancher. Off with her head. Green Jolly Rancher. And let's put that in the let's put that in the stingray. Just the black and copper stingray. Let's get it all wicked up. Now these do not have needle tip bot tips. They're blunt tips. Okay, so let's go ahead and get this all wicked up here. Yeah, I'm really getting the green apple smell, and it does smell like a Jolly Green Rancher, uh, a green green apple Jolly Rancher. Yeah, really producing the vapor. Get a little bit more on here. So, right, let's go ahead and take a hit. Excellent vapor production. And I am getting a little bit of a throat hit with this one here. Yeah, that tastes just like a Jolly Rancher, Green, App Green Apple Jolly Rancher. That's nice vape right here. This is this is a good tasting juice right here. Yeah, that's nice. That's a nice uh, vape. A little like once again, just a little bit of a throat hit on this, but not too bad. That's a nice all day vape for me. So yeah, that's that's a real nice vape. <laughs> Tastes just like a green green apple Jolly Rancher. So let's go ahead and do the last one here, and that is the Mad H, which just says just try me. But when I look on their website, it does say it's like a fruit blend. They say they want you to guess what the fruit is. Yeah, I'm smelling a, a watermelon in there and some banana. Maybe some uh yeah, some melon maybe. Some, well watermelon, I know it's got watermelon in it. I can smell the watermelon. And it kind of smells like a banana also. Yeah, so let's give it a shot here. Got that in the overdose, copper overdose with the tugboat RDA. Yeah, once again, excellent vapor production. Yeah, it's hard to pinpoint the uh, fruit flavors in it. It is a big, good... A good mixture and it does have a little bit of throw hit but not too bad a 
I am getting, I'm pretty sure I'm getting the a watermelon out of this. I'm tasting the watermelon. <laughs> yeah, um, I s thought I smelled a, <coughs> a banana. But I'm not tasting the banana, I'm tasting the watermelon. Uh, maybe some pineapple in there. Um, and yeah, that's that's about what I'm getting out of it. Uh, I can tell there's more uh, fruit in there. <laughs> I can tell there's more fruit in there than just a watermelon and, and uh, pineapple, but I can't necessarily pinpoint but it is a real nice fruit vape right here it's nice nice and smooth and you can see good vapor production so yeah that is the three e-liquids that they did send me uh, the teddy grams did taste just like teddy grams like the little teddy grams <coughs> little crackers or whatever but uh it just wasn't strong enough for me. And uh, now the green apple jolly ranch, just like green apple jolly rancher. That tastes good. That could be an all day vape. And this fruit one, I'm tasting a watermelon, some pineapple, and some. there's some other fruits in there, but I can't pinpoint them exactly. Uh, once again, taste is subjective. So everybody's, you might taste something a little bit different than me, but it is a nice, smooth vape. Nice and fruity kind of makes my mouth water some uh, just a little bit of throw hit and same thing with the Jolly Rancher just a little bit of throw hit but I didn't get hardly any throw hit with the Teddy Grams the Wonder Grams so there you guys have it that's three from Caterpillar e-liquids and they're twelve dollars for a 18 mil and twenty dollars for 36 mil so it's good prices and if you go to their website they actually give you uh, give you all the companies that sell their e-liquids so I'll put the Caterpillar uh, website and the link in the link in the description down below so you guys can check them out and uh, see check out their juices I mean I recommend them two of them out of three for me that I can actually vape all day that's pretty good so alright guys till next time